Did you know about this? Contacts, Harry, that's what you need. What's it all about? Cleaning woman, Mary Tomlinson, raising money for a sick child. Get us a couple of pictures, will you? No way, get your own. <laughs> I've tried mine. Answer phone. Cut. What you reckon, 40? 41. You can read about it soon. See you then. Julie. Julie? Have you been out? The kids? They're okay. I've only been half an hour. I had to. What is it? I need to know. Is there someone else? No! I can't get Bill up on that roof for the life of me. Mm. I even borrowed a ladder for him. Well, that wasn't easy. Mm. Had to go next door. And he's a pig with a suit on. Yeah. I had to go through all that. Oh, on the cad jar with Banter mm. before he'd do anything to help. But even then, Bill still wouldn't go up there. Could you come over here for a moment, Daphne, please? Right, you cover the old man flogging his bravery medals, take Snappy with you, and uh, softly, softly with him. He's at croak point, like you might be one day. Wait, where are you going? Well, you just said there's the stripping mum with the sick kid. What happened there? Oh, Saturday night. It was late. He had a hot date. Saturday night? What's that got to do with it, eh? Follow it up. There might be a new angle. Right, get her in her gear. I mean, that's the whole point, isn't it? What else we got? This gypsy war and all that stuff, rival families, 12-year-old lovers on the run, teenage heroin girlfriend, fat as man in a North contest, and a mortgage scam. This is pathetic. <laughs> cool, why does he start cooking that stuff so early down there? The fat has to be hot. How do you know? My Uncle Don had a chippy. Write a story about that, then. This is ridiculous. We are so quiet. You're not. <laughs> Oi. Get on with the metal story, will you? Go with him. Forget it. Have you told anyone? Well, the police were here. They were rather amused. Looking for takers, not givers, was more their light. <laughs> Newspapers? Just you, lovey. The informer's been very good to us. Your Mr Buxton was most helpful over the earthquake appeal. Are you a believer, dear? Oh, I've stuck with Spurs since I was a little girl. This came with it. May I? I'll give it you back. I'm having a good week. Well, nice going. How do you do it? Oh, it's not a competition. Isn't it? How much? 25 grand. And it's real. I checked. The shoebox? Yep. Anything else? Like what? No body. No story, Cheryl. We're not police. We're press. Only just, in your case. <laughs> oh, come on, help me out. Things are like a graveyard at the moment. I might. No, I don't mean that. I'll get the hips up. This was with the money. Feed the world for the hungry ones. For justice. Well, it's a start. Well, it's my story. Two nil. Who's counting? <laughs> Be nice to them, Geoffrey. They've been awfully good to fit us in. Now, family life first, I think. We're very keen on that at nice day. Simon? I think you'd better ask Julie first. Takes two, doesn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Kids are lovely, but they can be a bit of a handful. And they grow up. Um, I'll get that. Keep it short, pet. It'll be Mum, you know. Excuse me. 
Nice house, Simon. Yeah, football's been good to me. I've been careful, mind. Upbringing to thank for that. Your father was a docker, right? No, he was a pitman. All his life, old school, you know. Suits, chapel, union. The old-fashioned way, just put that. Um, some of your successes. Taken at the hostel? Yeah, that's right. I wanted to do something. We've got lots of support. Some of the lads in the game and politicians, even Buckingham Palace. The great and the good, eh? It's the parents I blame. Those kids were just chucked out, left to fend. It's a national bloody disgrace, isn't it? Don't you think? All those young people on our streets. I mean, somebody's got to do something, not just sit back. Shall we talk football? You're too modest, Mr. Craven. I could do a piece on this. Supplement stuff, the old north. No, you can't sell it since the pit's closed. Everyone thinks it's over. Mr. Crew, hello. Jonathan Paletsky, News Associates. It's about your bravery. Metal. Yeah, you got that common touch, haven't you? Doorstepping is so tiresome. Yeah, well, you're too polite. Break the door down. Everybody else does down here. No, we can't do that. Come on, I got that sex charity woman to find. Talk to him before he dies. Get a move on. Fuss is. I only want some money. I mean, everything's got its price these days, isn't it? What do you call it, Mr. Crew? It's a whore. Call it Scylla. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Brainless, don't you think? Boards. Well, what is it you want to know? It's about your bravery, really. Look, but I only want some money. Yeah, you said. What for? Oh, mind your own business. Oh, I've tried everything. Hypnosis, patches. Geoffrey managed it, haven't you, Geoffrey? Self-control, Myra. <laughs> Excuse me, do, do you mind if I... Oh, for Christ's sake! Look, I'm sorry about this. I'll just have a word with her. Jess, Tim, come on. Oh, bugger it. You'll just have to waft the smoke for me, Geoffrey. Shall we leave it? Do that appalling pea brain show jumper in Berwick as a filler? Yeah. What are you trying to do? Those people, the media, it's important. We are public people. Never forget that. Come back in now. Can I try this on, please? Oh, gents raincoat. Right. Oh, better check the pockets. They don't always empty them, you know. It's nice, is this? Wait a minute. I think we've been here before. Here's wonders to perform. This keeps on happening. Twice blessed. There's somebody trying very hard to feed the world. That's good, Scylla. Great, thanks. Come and sit down, Mr. Crew. Tell me about what happened. I know it's a long time ago. What happened? Heard it all before, eh, Scylla? You haven't got any whiskey, have you? Uh, no, I haven't, sorry. Look, you couldn't get rid of your friend, could you? Scylla can't abide crowds. I don't know what all the fuss is about. Well, DSM, Outstanding Bravery in Action. Why sell it now? I have done the state some service. Shall we come back another time? Mm. Aye. But don't bring that thing. Good 
afternoon, Mrs. Craven. Good afternoon, Joe. Oh, my God. Mrs. Craven. Mrs. Craven, are you all right? I'm okay. I'm okay. Look, leave me alone with you. Oh, please. Please, I'm all right. Could I get you a taxi? I'm all right. Oh, I could phone your husband and no, you want to. No. Thank you. No. It was delivered to my office by hand. I saw you at the Oxfam shop. If you want to know more about the money, meet me outside Ganton High School at 4 o'clock Wednesday. Please wait till all the children have dispersed. Please come alone, Chris L. No justice lost there, is there? Harry, my story. I'll do your deal. Cheryl, this could be what I'm looking for. Come on. 50 grand. Dumped at a charity shop, eh? Secret notes, mystery meetings. I love it. Give us a break. Why should I? Because I can help you with this. Share it with me. <laughs> Who was it once said, you can't share an exclusive? You need someone with experience to get you through this. I make the contact on my own. You won't even see me. Cross my heart. Oh, bullshit, Harry. Your heart froze up years ago. Pike like you doesn't share its pond. No, mine. Is Harry's working this while. We never spend any time together, and when we do, she just keeps banging on about what's her name? Cheryl. Yeah, Cheryl. Maybe she's worried. Harry comes back and seems to be making money, and she doesn't want him to blow it all over his love life again. That's what you reckon it is, do you? Well, either that or she hates you. <laughs> Did you get the stripper pics? No, I went to see her. She's doing it for a kid. Came out feeling awful. So you didn't get them then? doing you've got five seconds or answer in a court of law <laughs> my story you've blown it god i can't believe it look come alone we agreed me yeah i nearly got arrested in there oh you won't even see me you bastard my story it was just a hunch it was a good story yeah, it was hey, listen listen do me a favor will you go and get me a prospectus me yeah say your kid wants to go to the school right we need a staff list it could be important a teacher yeah we'll do a deal cross me heart lie i left it lie what the bloody hell did you come here for i left it <laughs> You've changed, you know that? All this, when I think what you were. You know what we used to call you? The slag from Salford. Why you never took it up full time, I'll never understand. Really scored, ain't you, with him, the Geordie Maestro? <laughs> Best striker England's ever had. Nice one, Julie. But that's you, isn't it? Always out for number one. Selfish, calculating cow. Kid in the way, dumper. Boyfriend in the way, dumping. And the rest. I'm not like that now. <laughs> you haven't changed. I don't think you believe me, do you? Shall I show you? That's her. Look at it! It's gonna look great, isn't it? 
Isn't Simon gonna love this? Save the druggies? And here's one I made earlier. <laughs> it was years ago. This is nothing to do with me. One last chance. You'll have to give me time. Please. I'll ring you later. Julie. I mean it. I'll tell it. All of it. Unless... You can get it. Mr. Crew, it's Jonathan Paletsky. What do you want? No daft friend. Can we talk? Well, I've told you it. Whiskey for an old soldier, sir? Is it Irish? Um, no, it's, it's Scotch, actually. Mm. Something for sinner? You're a waste, man. Medals, bravery. <laughs> what about your citation? Just a whole lot of words, man. I tried to chuck them all away once in the sea. Whitley Bay. Shoot away, because I did. Seventeen days, wasn't it? Adrift? Sometimes wonder if it was all just a dream. Sometimes wonder if I really did it. What did you have to eat? Drowned their men. Drowned? You see, those seven of us I got onto that raft. And when they picked us up, there was only three. Ah. Oh. I've never, to, never told anybody this before. You see, there was two of them. Oh, mother was I badly burnt. After three or four days, we... The begged us, man. The begged us to put them off the side. Oh, man, the smell. The other two are pushed. Who got mad. They were screaming all the time. They were wasting all the water. We... I couldn't let them stop a board, could I? I just watched them floating away. What about the men you saved and your medal? They saw not. They were unconscious. You won't see anything, do we? What in hell? War, Albert. Bloody murder. Have you had any offers for it? Hmm? Oh. I want a solicitor. Five hundred pounds. No worry, you see. But if you know, have not enough money to pay for it. And the gun, decent. Julie?
I'm having a hell of a time finding Mary Tomlinson. Shall we call it a day? How do I get her in the knickers again? Oh, tough luck, Snappy. Harry's gonna go mad. Well, it's not your fault. Yeah, well, he doesn't do excuses, you know that. Look, brace up. You're in business together. You agreed. Equal profits, everybody with a say. Yeah, but some bosses are more equal than others, aren't they? Will they go upstairs as well? Yeah. Jewelry, quite a lot, I think. Left me cup final medal anyway. Losers. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, very messy. Pictures missing? Uh, two Lowry's and just a few others. Originals? I'm a bit of a fan. Oh, thieves? <laughs> Doesn't sound like Darlington. This is going to be a shock for her. Well, just take it easy, sir. It's funny. What's that? Well, she's normally home by this time. With the kids, not off and out after school. If she'd have been here, it wouldn't have happened. Oh, God, this is going to hurt. She's not been well recently. Stress, you know. Domestic life, my job, all the things I'm involved in, the hostel. We've had visitors. I didn't know you were going out. Shopping. I've just been to get some of eggs for the children. Oh, my God. Julie, please. Come on, please. Hey, hey, come on, come on. Listen, come on, listen. Listen, this is a few... Hey, come on, listen. There's just a few things going under my feathers. Come on, shh, 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 shh. Calm down. Raven was very helpful. Nice bloke. Not the usual thick, pissed up football big head, you mean? <laughs> but the other half, something wrong up there. Stress, he said. Passed clean out in the shop the other day. Who told you that? Little birdie. Jewelry, pictures, a couple of Lowry's. Mind it, figures, given his uh, interest in the underprivileged. Yeah, that area. Thieves' playground, isn't it? Not so sure about your thieves, actually. Insurance? Come on, Harry. I don't talk theories, do I? Just observe. Gambling, pair of society, the mighty Craven. I was there when she came in. Oh, Oscar for shock horror. Got to hand it to her. Put on. And why? Playing away? There's a break and it's got more holes than a colander factory. Are these real onions? What other kind of onions to get, then? What makes her wobble? Worth a visit, do you reckon? Secret mystery money drop. <laughs> Who's locking up, then? Do you fancy a drink? No, not tonight. I'm busy. Informer job, is it? How's your hero? Home from the war? It'll run. It's a bit tricky. What do you mean? It's just a bit sad. Things our soldier would rather keep private. Listen to Salter. Tell. In this game, don't weaken. Always tell all of it. You got me? Oh, smells all right down there. You should trust him on this. He's a journalist, not one of the four apostles. Oh, well, he came back, didn't he, Jonathan? I mean, we were going under and he saved us. If he says print, then print. It's only one old bloke. Well, at least we know where you stand, Alice, should the crunch come. Do you fancy a drink? No, I haven't got any money. I've had a few expenses recently. <sighs> well, this is very kind. It's about your little misfortune, Mrs. Craven. The break-in, you mean? What, you mean there's more than one, then? Well, excuse the mess. <laughs> oh, <laughs> secrets. Sam would kill me if he knew. Oh, well, they're props, aren't they? Hey? We all need them. Mine's telling stories. Mm. You'll want to know about the stuff we lost. Well, yeah, and I thought a little bit more. I thought, what about a piece on a footballer's wife? If you got the time, I mean, we could use some pics, you know, from your modelling days. Oh. Got some smashing stuff of you on file. I mean, really lovely. <laughs> and then all your charity work, you know, the kids off the streets. I mean, you're obviously a key part of all that. I'll put some coffee on. Yeah, fine. Yeah. All the time in the world. Sometimes they're here, sometimes not. 
Just like a disappearing act. It's Salter, I want. They all say that. Fancy a taste of the Far East? The noodles are from Sunderland. Hey, old mate. Thank you very much. A free pencil. Cheers. You give them that. Just stick it over there with the bills. It's okay. I won't cook it. I'll see that it gets through to the master. This really is very, very nice. Thank you. Mm. It's very important to Simon, the game is, don't get me wrong, but it's what he means to the youngsters, how you live your life. Yeah, right, of course. Mm. Um, that business in the shop. Shop? Is there some sort of uh, stress? Now, look. You can tell me, you know. I'm discreet. I'm known for it. What do you want? Well, these burglars, do you think uh, there might have been someone you knew? What the hell do you think you're trying to do? Well, it's just these private details. It's the sort of thing people want to read about. Get out! All right, love. All right. Get out! Yes, OK. Oh, I know it can't be easy. Go on! Look, we're going to find out anyway, Mrs Craven. Why won't you tell me? Save me camping out in your backyard with a load of other hacks. Ah! But you don't treat the vicar like that. Mrs. Tomlinson. Sorry, but I never give up. Not when there's a sick child involved. I can have a word, please. Exquisite, aren't they? Blue banded discus. Simply sword and discus heckle. Very inquisitive little fellas. Salter, press. Lawrence, biology. Can I have a word with you, sir? What can I possibly have done to interest the daily papers? I've made contact with the press. You might as well know. You said that you'd give me time. Could you promise me that we'd never meet? Why can't you stick to what you say? You promised me. I need cash now, Mrs. Craven. I I've left given you it. every chance. I left it. Once a slag, always a slag. You haven't told her about me. Not yet. But I will. She's in a bad way. The life she's led. Don't you care? No, 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 you don't understand. I've never told Simon. It's just my past. It's not important anymore. He'll never be able to understand why I didn't tell him. Don't you care? I really think I've had enough of this. You've seen the photos, you know what I'm gonna do. I won't see you again until I see you on the front page. Shut up! Just shut up, will you? Can't say you weren't warned, bitch. Oh. Never ceases to surprise me, nature under scrutiny. Same here. You've been a long time at that school, haven't you? Since leaving college. Dreadful, isn't it? First and last job. I retire in five years, you see. Loyalty, though, eh? At a premium these days, Mr. Lawrence. Like justice. You wanted to ask me something? Yeah, yeah, I did. It won't take long, will it? I hope not. It's about names. Names? Yeah. Names, secret messages, and a lot of money. All of those, Tina. By tonight, yeah? Visitor Cheryl? Have we been introduced? You busy? Pizzas, prams, pullovers, you name it. The Oxfam drop, Cheryl. Oh, which one's that, then? Our teacher. Our teacher? Oh, come on, drop that. I gave you that story. You said deal. I'm making progress. We are getting nearer. It's nice for you. And I have a balmy footballer's wife who likes kicking perfectly respectable reporters and sets up a completely phony break-in and a note from a geezer who wants to do the dirty on her. You see, it's all there if you go out and look. Uh, uh, could you stand up, please, Mrs Tomlinson? Thank you. 
Collected much? About six thousand pounds. Not doing this. I've got three jobs, sponsored swims. Can't say I'm not trying, can they? Oh, and the pubs have helped. Our Kelly's pictures on the bar. Is this all right? Well, could you sort of um, wiggle a bit? Oh, I could put my music on. No, no, no. It's all right. Just uh, you know, move around like you normally do, and I'll I'll take some shots of you. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Everybody's been so kind. They say they can't do anything more. There's the... This clinic. In Zurich. That's Switzerland, you see. There's a doctor there who can work miracles. It costs a lot of money. And we've got to get there. She responds, you know, to tunes on the telly. <laughs> Have you got any kiddies? No. I think that's okay now, Mrs. Thompson. I think we've got enough. It's just for our Kelly. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> I knew Crazen. Played against him once. <laughs> Youth teams. I was good, too. A scout from Rangers come to our house once. See me, Mum and Dad. But he got the brakes. Look at him now. Could have been me. All I got was... Was what? You gotta offer me a price. This in for free. Yeah, sure, sure, but I need more to go on. You try and trick me. I won't trick you, mate. You trust me. What have you got? Uh, Judy Craven. Not for bloody keeps, but. Oh, yeah. I know Julie bleeding Craven. We go back. How much is this worth, Salter? Well, that depends. Sounds quite a good story so far about our little Julie. Some hidden secret, eh? Fifty grand. You people can run to that. I read about some of the cash you pay for good dirt. Too right we do. You were saying? I wasn't. I'm going to need more than that, Danny. I'm not falling for that. When did you last see her? Recently? What's that got to do with... No. Look, unless you tell me, I can't screw money out of them if I haven't got a story, can I? The Cravens, with their nice, clean life. A preachy bloody centre forward. Save the kids for heaven. You wouldn't believe it. I'll bring them down into the mud. What, like the rest of us? You what? If you want more, you'll have to pay. Tomorrow. Yeah, OK, relax. Don't even think of trying to trick me, Salter. I've been around. I don't doubt it. Fifty grand. Fifty grand? I can't keep meeting like this. I never thought I'd ever see him again. It's past, it's finished. But you have seen him? Yes. And I've paid him money. Blackmail? I've been out of my mind. How much did you pay him? <sighs> 50 grand? How did you know that? Just a lucky guess. He phoned me. He promised me that we didn't have to meet. Just take the money and go. Finished. He promised me. He told me to leave it under the bridge. I left it. Oh, then he comes round, says he never got it. I left it like he asked me to. I know him. This'll go on. You'll have to give me more to go on than that. Why should I? Because if you won't tell me, he will. I was 16. I gave the baby away. Adoption. A little girl. To tell you the truth, I hardly saw her. I didn't care, you see. In those days, I was... I was different. 
All right. Lots of blokes, not just Danny Murphy. I had a reputation. I was proud of it, too. You've no idea. Try me. Simon doesn't know anything about this. When I met him, I changed. I just fell in love. I never knew it could be like that with anyone. So I kept the past to myself. I wasn't going to let that spoil things. I just couldn't risk losing him. Then Danny turns up, this girl, this daughter, it doesn't feel like she's anything to do with me. Can you understand that? Have you seen this girl? There's this. Danny gave it to me. Says it was taken on the streets. She's a bad girl. Like I was. But you've not actually met her. So she's in a terrible state. And he blames me. So now the papers do know, don't they? Simon will be destroyed if this gets out. Simon? Do you know what it's like to need somebody so much? To depend on someone? I can't put this on him. The deceit of it. Are you sure? What? That it's Simon. Well, what do you mean? What does frighten you? Well, what else is there? <laughs> All the rest of it, the hostel, eh? The kids being rescued off the streets. He meets you, you get involved with his work. And now what's happened? You've got a damaged kid of your own. That's great for his image, isn't it, eh? And what about your relationship? Here you are coughing up 50 grand to an ex-boyfriend to keep your husband's image Unsullied. Simon can take it. You don't know him. Face it. What are you frightened of? What are you covering up, eh? It's not the shame of being a naughty little girl once. It's because you're terrified your whole lifestyle, you and Simon's, will be completely destroyed. Try him, Mrs. Craven. Try him. I like the parrot. <laughs> you going for it then? It's a cockatoo, actually. The whole story? Follow the boss. I don't want a fight, Jonathan. Albert Crewe, you wouldn't believe what he went through. He'd only had one offer for it, and all he wanted was a decent funeral. It's not too much to ask, is it? No, it's not. He even tried to throw the medal away once at Whitley Bay. Simon calls the press lions. Says you have to be careful. Are you going to eat me up, Mr. Salter? Just for breakfast. Don't worry. The bastard on your back is the main course. Can I keep this? Trust me. There will be a story. There has to be. It's my way of life. What kind of story? Well, perhaps not the one that you're expecting. You don't often hear that, you know. About a love like you've got. Don't you worry. You'll survive with a right foot like that. The money. Where did it go? I don't think you'll get that back. Probably gone to some charity. No way! Well, they're not that bad. We've missed it. Look, the woman's got a story, Harry. A little girl's in a bad way. It's gone cold, I said we'd help. The operation, the girl. Rule two, never make promises. Bin them. It's still a story we can sell. You want perfection every working bloody minute, don't you? Yes, I do. Then what do you want? Some fresh air. Not bad for 41, eh? Mm. And you better go after him. Oh, he'll be all right. Look, I'm sorry about the informer crack. I was out of order. I'm afraid it has to end there. <laughs> Listen, I've got a story about a very nice lady. I'm about to hurt her. What do you recommend? Don't weaken Old's tail. Yeah. Rule one. Yeah, but come on. Don't hit her too hard, then. Oh, Tommy's on form. Sweet and sour. <laughs> All tied up, then? Yeah, a couple of loose ends. One of them's downstairs now. I'll be careful. Christ's sake. I'm not here. It's all right for me. I want to talk money. I know you do. And my bloody story. 
I've got my own story, thanks. Sorry, don't even think about it. Look, you want to do a deal or not? What, the druggy daughter living in squalor bit? No, thanks. You what? Come on. Your little bombshell is a squib. You haven't seen her, have you? That slag. Nice try. Hit her at her weakest point, eh, Mrs. Doogood? Look at this, eh? Bastard daughter at 16, and now, lo and behold, she's on the streets. Just like the hostel lot. And Mr. Doogood doesn't care. Now, the point is, who is this, eh? One of your little tarts, or just some other kid on the street? There's plenty to choose from. Nice little scam you pulled off, aren't you? That's your story. I've got mine. Get out. I think how Jessica's bound for Wembley, do you? No. We'll be all right, won't we, eh, Julie? I just love you, you see. All the list, it doesn't matter. Papers, they can say what they like. But in the end, people are on their own and they have to go on making it work. If they want to. And I do. She'll be in, probably studying at time. I do hope you're right. Oh, Mr. Lawrence? There isn't anything wrong, is there? I had to find someone who knew the kids, someone I could be sure. But, but are you sure? <laughs> Come and sit down. Hello, Christine. Catching you out of school, sorry. Let's do my homework, sir. Biology, I hope. This is Mr. Sodder. He's from the papers. I missed you the other day. I know why you've come. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Tommy said I should come out. <sighs> well, I'm just about to lock up, actually. I'm meeting Harry. Uh, I could wait here, if that's OK. Uh, it's all right. I won't snoop. Well, I'll have to lock you in. I'll bang on the floor for Tommy if Harry doesn't come. He does keep a spare key, doesn't he? Right. Well, I'll be off. They're always telling us that we should care. How shocking it is on the telly. Starving babies with flies around the faces. Our teachers ask us to pray. They say to give. It wasn't your money to give away. Dougal and I found it. The dog. I took him for his walk through the night. A black plastic bag with a shoebox inside, under the bridge. Why two installments, Christine? Just wanted to see what would happen. How did you find out, sir? Uh, Mr. Salter asked me who at the school would do a thing like that. He was looking for a girl, and did I recognize the handwriting? Girls are always neat, aren't they? Eh? I knew a long time ago. Did a name for the body. Means the police, doesn't it? Your father will go spare. I don't see why. I mean, in the circumstances, a gift to the starving. Admirable. Has somebody claimed it? I doubt if they will, love. Oh, that'd be my photographer. No objection to any pictures of you, Mrs. Lomax. Eh? I mean, you've got a right little heroine here, front page stuff. Public love heroic kids, especially saintly ones. Reminds them of what they were once, long ago. Alice? Alice? Afraid not. Well, well. Very quiet up here. Only the informer. Do you want an update? Oh, it's very kind of you. Did you get your girl, then? The infant mother Teresa of Darlington. <laughs> I like it. Best I could do. I've seen the big story. It's very sweet. What happened to the nasty bits? There wasn't any. 
How'd you know the stuff about the daughter wasn't true? I didn't. Cool. Luck. That's all you need on a bad news day to make a front page day. So you got your stories then? That makes us two all, Harry. Yeah, but bear in mind what I said. Who's scoring? <laughs> Fancy something to eat? Not another Chinese, please. Suit yourself, but I'm having a 42A. Some days you win a few, another time it's so brand new. Keep your head above the line, a truth you wild and die. No smoke, no fire, just little white light. Another investigation for Harry at the same time, 9.30 next Wednesday night on BBC One. Coming next tonight, figure skating, boxing and Blackburn against Arsenal in Sports Night. Never know which horse will run. Rivers flow on through your door. Just tell them what you saw. No smoke, no fire. Just little white light. Another story runs today. Just little white light. You're going for murder. I'm just not interested.